Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Shisham Malyala. So today morning I have posted a video regarding uh, how to fill your choices based on vacant seats. And I have also given you the Excel sheet uh, which will be easing out your process of seeing where all the uh, like vacant seats are available and all stuff. And I have also break a myth that you should only fill the choices where the seats are vacant. Even after making that video, there are many people who commented down below, by a in so and so college so and so branch there is no vacancy does that mean i should not fill that choice so we can i able to fill that choice even though it is i clearly said in the video people didn't without watching the video they started commenting uh, regarding this so please watch that video carefully before you start filling your choices for csab 2024 and coming to this video i'm going to show you how you should register yourself for csab 2024 how much fee you have to pay is already i have shown but how to pay the fees and how to fill the choices and uh, what will happen to the seat if you already have some seat you are carrying from joseph if thrown what will happen to that is what i'm going to discuss in this particular video without taking much time let's go so if you see this is the official website of csab 2024 and you can see registration and choice filling for csab special round has been started and you can just see schedule let me just open the schedule so if i just open the schedule i can see that the choice filling is going to end on saturday 3rd august 5 pm is going to the last date for choice filling and before that on 2nd august 5 pm they are going to stop the registration and payment of uh, srpf special round enrollment fee which has institute admission fee 1 and srp uh, special round processing fee right so uh, so the processing fee whatever it is the, which is 5000 rupees is not at all refundable for anyone so yeah and as, so, as shown earlier like there are nine types of people who, can, who are eligible for uh, applying for csab 2024 and based on the type you belong to the fees is going to vary sref special round enrollment fee which includes iaf1 plus srpf processing fee so processing fee is common for everyone 5000 you can just see sref to be paid so these are the fees uh, the second column according to the category and here also the fourth column according to scst pwd so based on the type you belong it is the student of uh, whom who's like registration and fee payment i'm going to show in this video is my cousin who got seat into nid warangal mechanical he paid seat acceptance fee and he paid parcel admission fee so he belongs to type 6 right type 6 and he has to pay 5000 rupees only as a uh, like non-refundable srpf processing fee perfect so i'll show you carefully please watch it uh, so what all things you have to do and so that it will give you a clarity about uh, your registration process so that you will not make any mistakes right perfect chalo without taking much time let's go and before that if you want to join my mentorship program where we are already guiding more than 100 plus students so this year and since last three years we are guiding more than 350 plus students so if you also want to be part of that and you want guidance from some mentors who have experience in choice filling josa counseling and csap counselings so please do join the mentorship program as soon as possible the price is going to increase from tomorrow so presently the price is 14 double nine from tomorrow it's going to be one triple nine so if you want to take the advantage make sure you register yourself today so that you need not to pay more price right so do check out the mentorship link in the description you can also talk to me chat with me in my whatsapp once you pay the amount you will be added to a whatsapp group where i will also be there and where a personalized mentor will be allotted to you i don't call them mentor a brother or sister will be allotted to you they will be helping you throughout the process perfect chalo uh, let's go into the video and get to know more details about registration fees and every stuff okay uh, let me just show you a live registration of a student for csab 2024 i'm just entering his uh, application number password and the pin uh, security pin and then clicking on login so he will be receiving a otp on his mobile number and email so after once you enter the otp and uh, which you received either to your mobile number or email you have to just click on submit so upon entering the otp and click on submit you will be taken to this particular page where you need to agree for all the terms and condition you can just see all the things are clearly mentioned that if there is a new seat allotted or whatever seat you have currently uh, by secured your seat based on paying after parcel admission fee will be cancelled and everything like choices will lock, uh, lock automatically after the once the time for the choice filling is closed and all the stuff is mentioned here so please read each and every uh, terms and condition mentioned here carefully and then you have to uh, click on agree i agree so if i if you click on i don't agree that will not take you forward so you have to click on i agree then after once you click on i agree you can just see there is a message because this student is already verified during those around he is not allowed to change any of the parameter details 
so once you click on i agree and just click on submit it is asking to confirm registration uh, so if you click on ok the registration will be done now the main important thing left is paying off special round enrollment fee so right uh, so uh, as i mentioned already this student has got seat in uh, nit varangal mechanical and he have paid seat acceptance fee and uh, also he have paid a uh, partial admission fee that means he belongs to type 6 as far as i remember out of no, nine type of students eligible for csab so he has to pay 5000 rupees perfect so you can see pay pa payment of uh, special round enrollment fee option is there right you have to click that so you can just see uh, on the left also there is an option uh, for paying a special round enrollment fee from there also you can just click and pay the amount i am just opening from here so once you open that it will show you all the account details if at all you get refund to which account they have to send the amount once confirm your details whatever you have filled during josa they are like automatically filled here so you need to confirm that once you submit and pay the fees once you click that they will not allow you to edit again okay so make sure you check the account details properly before you submit and pay and then go for uh, any of the payment uh, method sbi mops or sbi epi so i tried to uh, do it from upi it failed and i tried to do it from debit card it failed and finally i tried to do it from net banking and it worked out so my suggestion is always prefer net banking so upi is, is something which you need to keep as a last priority even though charges are less but still you don't take a risk so paying through upi and all so i would suggest try to pay uh, it from the net banking rather than a upi once i completed my payment you can just see it has taken me back to the csap website where it shows your transaction has been completed successfully and i clicked on go back so once i click that it will be taking me to it it has taken me to the home page so, so where uh, previously there was a p option was there now it, there is no p option so you can just see on the left there are a lot of available services in that you can go for choice available so because csap may there is no iit so you don't see get to see iit as an option you only see an iit place system and just click on choice filling and again it will ask you for the otp from you for your registered mobile number and the mail id just enter the otp and click on submit so if you see uh, i have i have just added the fifth option of course it will not show the nid warangal mechanical as the sixth option now itself but once the choices are saved logged automatically the nid warangal will come as a sixth option because he got seat in nid warangal so now that you have seen how we have to register yourself and how you have to pay and how you have to fill the choices so i want to clear one more thing uh, so don't lock the choices because like the choice locking is option is there by the time you feel one choice choice lock, uh, locking option will come please don't lock the choices uh, uh, like uh, with your own hands just leave it like that automatically by the end like once the choice filling option closes so the choices will be logged automatically that is also clearly mentioned in the instructions or the agreement which you have agreed in the start of registration right so don't worry about choice locking so automatically choices will get logged after the last date and one more thing is second uh, second more important most important thing is what happened to the seat if you are carrying it with along with you after joseph fifth round by paying partial admission fee so for example the same student which i demonstrated in this video he has nit varangam mechanical for example if he fills any four options let's say any four option fifth auto option will be automatically nit varangal mechanical so if so uh, while allotting the choices what they do they check from the top if they check first one if they get they will allot if not they'll go for second if they get uh, like if based on his rank if he gets it and there is a vacancy and he gets it they'll allot if not they'll go for the third option they'll check if there is a vacancy if there is a vacancy whether his rank is suitable for that to get they'll check it if not they'll go to fourth one the same way if you if he gets fourth one they will allot if not he will they will directly keep the fifth one because he already have the fifth seat in his hand on his name by paying partial admission fee so that is how it is going to be if you fill only one choice the second choice will be whatever seat you have after fifth round by paying partial admission fee if you don't fill any choices that will be one the one choice which you uh, paid partial admission fee for that will be the final choice okay so guys uh, don't worry about whatever you got so that will be automatically the last choice whatever you fill because people might think something different okay so i am again saying try to fill only those choices which you really want to go which is better than you feel whatever you have already okay that's great uh, that's more about this video guys uh, if you want to join the mentorship program do check out the payment link in the description and uh, i'll attach uh, i'll attach all the important links in the description from where you can get all the information and stuff so make sure you subscribe the channel if you didn't subscribe yet so that will help me and boost my confidence to make more 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 videos for you chalo see you in the next one take care bye bye